Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Bring him in here! <clears throat> Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead. I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to well, do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Been two days or more like this now. 
Oh, it has to blow over soon. here. people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. The place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for death. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead! Okay, let's head down there. Yeah. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. 
Excuse me! Hello! Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Yeah, look out! There's more to bear. Search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. The place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. 